Hi there, welcome to Business and Balance for Online Mums. I'm Airly Wildey. Today we're going to be talking about procrastination. Let's do it. So on my Facebook page this week, I've been talking a little bit about procrastination as I was being very honest about some of the things that I procrastinate about. Um, it occurred to me that these were the things that I actually needed that if I didn't procrastinate I would benefit from like it's crazy stupid why are you procrastinating against something that is actually good for you we do it all the time I do um, so I just wanted to talk to you about how I'm working really hard at turning procrastination upside down flipping it um, and getting really clear on what I'm procrastinating about and how I can flip it so that it doesn't hold me back from things that are good for me or from doing things that will help me make progress in what I want to do. So the two things that I, I listed on my Facebook page were um, that I procrastinated about going to bed early, which is actually one of my goals for this year, is to go, bed, go to bed early, and to tidy up. And I know that if I go to bed early and get a good night's sleep, I'll have so much more energy the next day. And I know that if I tidy up the house, um, I'll feel better about it but you know I've got a toddler so I don't always do it because quick as a flash she will make it a mess again so the times that I do do it I feel good about it but you can't stop them from making a mess all the time it makes me feel like I've got more space and a bit more calmer which is absolutely a good thing so the strategy that I've been putting in place to turn procrastination upside down it involves a, a, just a little template. You can do it on a post-it note and there are three steps to it and they're pretty simple. The first step is to name and shame. To write down your the, the thing that you are doing that's procrastinating, whether it's watching TV or playing a Facebook game or sitting on Facebook for ages because you're avoiding something. So the second, second step goes straight to the core. Why are you avoiding it? So I have to write down on this in this little column on my post-it note what I'm doing that's procrastinating and the second column is what I would gain if I didn't procrastinate so I'm getting right to that thing of motivation so cutting through all the why I'm procrastinating or or what else I've been doing just going what I would gain if I didn't procrastinate so for me and my I would gain better sleep more energy so the third column then is just a little dot point that says what I can do to stop it so that would be maybe Put an alarm on my phone at 9.30 to say get ready for bed. So I find a, a replacement that gives me the second column that makes me feel better. So it's just as, as simple and as little as that. Just on a post-it note, name and shame what you're going to gain and what you can do to flip it. Turn it around so I'm no longer sitting on the couch. I've named and shamed it and I, I have more awareness about it and I can flip it and know exactly what I have to do. So it's practical and it's to the point and that's what we want. So give it a try. If you want to, send me an email on how you went or if you have any questions about it. I'm Ellie Wildy from ellieweldy.com. Business and balance for online mums. Thanks, bye.